Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Gillen Geeky, and today I want to do a quick video to show you my latest free application I like using for doing screenshots. And it's called Shutter, and it's really good. So here we are in the main screen here, look, in the preferences, and you can see I've got it set up for a full screenshot with Hyperkey and 6. Area screenshot is, I don't know what that is, I suppose we can select an area. And that's on number 2. I've got repeat area screenshot on number 3. Any window screenshot, 4. Active window screenshot five, and I've got scrolling screenshot on seven. The area screenshot is the one I use the most, but I also like the active window screenshot. And what it does, it will put a background onto your screenshot, like this wallpaper, go for transparent or color, or you can just get it to trim the background off it altogether. So I'm gonna do any window screenshot, which is basically my hyperkey and four. And then I can click on this one here, or I can get this one here, or I can get this one over here. So let's do this one of warp. Have a look at the Good and Geeky tutorial for Warp because it's a really good terminal application that I thoroughly recommend. And then if I want to do a scroll shot, then I can go over to this one here. So hyperlink in 7 and I'm going to do uh, this one here. Let's go for this area here. It just scrolled it and I didn't have to touch it after I'd selected the area. How cool is that? Here you can choose the format, whether it's going to be PNG or Auto. The automatic mode optimizes size and quality based on the image content. So basically it's going to give the smallest file possible, depending on you know, what you need. So if it's um, a particular type of file that's going to be smaller, if it's a PNG, that's what you're going to get. So resize Retina screenshots. I haven't done that, but it's possible to do that. So let's uh, just do one of these and just show you how it works. And I'm going to go for the hotkeys just to remind me, because I've just changed these to some different numbers. And if I want to active window screenshot, I'm going to do a hyper key and five. The hyper key, by the way, is the uh, shift, command, control and option all together. But I've got it set so it's a caps lock. So let's do um, caps lock five. And you see it pops up quite nicely here. And I've got the um, board around it, which is the background. I can use this here to copy a color. So if I'm on this color here, I want to get this color. So I'll just press tab and that will copy the colour. And it's copied the clipboard. Let's go back to show shutter. It's got me the image size on there. It's got the 100% zoom on there. And you can do a few things on there. I can blur and erase things, which obviously if you're doing some sort of stuff there, it's kind of handy. So if I want to blur or erase that, I can do that. I can blur it, blur text. I can erase it or erase text. And the size of the blurred you can change here look so now it's time for you to put a like onto the video or make a comment and it's always good because you're going to hack the youtube algorithm when you do that and tell more people about these videos i'd appreciate it go for it other things you can do as well is that you can uh, drag and drop an image onto there so if i want to have something else in there i can do i can crop and select it so if i click on that there and then do this i want to have just that part there um press enter probably yep so that'll do that Let's do Command and Z to put it back as it was. Um, this one here is auto adjust. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what the auto is on, but uh, it does some auto adjust here. And this one here is to resize. So I can basically choose what I want. That's another, must be another sort of cropping thing. Let's press enter and see what happens. Okay, so that kind of crops it as well. Okay, so let's go to the next one. And I can recognize text or QR code on there. So now I'm going to do command space, go through Raycast to go to Drafts application, which is my text editor of choice. And I'm on this one here now, and I'm going to press command V to press enter. And actually it did a pretty good job of it really to get all the text out of there and put it into a text editor. And uh, we need to show Shotter again. So let's uh, go to the uh, this up here. Look, you see I've actually got uh, stuff up here. I can reopen Shotter. I can do capture screen, capture area, scrolling capture, this here and more. So if I can't remember what the uh, keyboard shortcuts that I've done are, I can do that there. It is free software this, but if you want to, you can actually buy him a coffee or report a bug. So if you want to sort of uh, buy him a coffee, it's a good app. It's well worth having. I, th I like it, and, and I think good developers deserve to be rewarded if you use their app a lot. So um, this one here takes me through to preferences, which I've got open already. 
we can put uh, other things in there which are kind of useful so if you're doing a screenshot and you want to point something out so this one here I want to point to this one here and you can change the size of it smaller larger different type of arrow I think I prefer that sort of arrow there and obviously you can change the color of it as well so let's put that color in you don't get much choice of color though, but still probably enough for what you need to do and we've got a ruler so we can actually measure stuff on here as well so um, um, hold one or two key and an arrow key to move your mouse over the area you want to measure. So I place the cursor there, I press the up arrow and I get the distance between those two bits there. And if I press the right arrow I get the distance between the edge of the box and the first bit of text. If I put the cursor there then I get the distance all the way across which is 282 pixels. And obviously we're going to put some text in there if you want text in there. Hello world, got to be done hasn't it if you're testing things. So when you're finished with your cropping and your annotations or whatever else, you can put it onto clipboard with copy or you can go for save and save it into a folder. I have it saved into a specific folder called screenshots. Okay, so here we are in Finder and I've got it set today. I'll go into screenshots, which you can set from the application. So this is the one that I just did here. Look and press the quick look and that one came in as a PNG. It does the SCR, so you can always find your screenshots because you've got SCR in front of it and then a dash. And then you've got uh, 2023, which is the date, and 0204, that's part of the date. And then this last part of it, the um, dash and then three letters, that is basically just sort of a make each one different. Okay, so this is Dave Allen. I'm Good and Geeky, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye now.